Yeah, you know, I wanted to, you know, have a bunch of guys earn my trust and the head coach's trust, and they've done that. You know, so you know, overall happy with just the development of guys. You know, um, want to continue taking the steps we need to take to be more consistent and help the team win games. We saw a little bit more of Alex Rodriguez last week. Yep. And I know he's probably been waiting on that for a little while. Yeah. What did you like in seeing out of him? I guess what made you at this point kind of trust to throw him out there? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's just one of those deals where, I mean, he's been doing great on scout team, um, earned a scholarship this year, earned trust last year. And just because of some of the young guys and opportunities they had, you know, he wasn't first up, you know, but he's a guy who stays positive, got a great spirit to him, great leadership in the room. And he was waiting for the, you know, for his opportunity, and he took advantage of it. And what's kind of helped Devonte earn so much trust, where he can kind of get a bunch of snaps in there? Well, I mean, Devonte, I mean, he brings a lot to the table as far as his you know, quickness. He's very tough. Um, got some you know, great acceleration. Um, stick his head up in there, you know. Very good in pass protection. So I mean, he knows the system. He knows what's expected. You know, and it's one of those situations where when he had an opportunity, he made the best of it. Also, I just I know you talked about Devon a lot this year, but just he was kind of talking about his dad giving him so many tips. I guess his dad's always in his ear, mm -hmm. and that kind of just played into him being just such a football junkie. I guess mm -hmm. just, is that just being a football junkie or being so invested in the game, talking all the time? Does that make him a better player? Does that help him? Well, it helps. You know, I mean, you know, his dad. You know, I played high school with his dad. I mean, his oh, dad played on the same high school team. Um, you know, so I know his I know his dad for a long, long time. You know, and I know, you know, the things that he instilled in, in, in Divine, which made it intriguing when we had the opportunity to recruit him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that stuff, that, that does help because he comes in with a better than average knowledge base. You know, so I look at the game in a certain way, but he knows how to conduct himself to be um, successful also. I guess it, to that end, it seems like he's a guy that wears down less mm -hmm. than the average player. I mean, when you talk about conducting yourself, is he maybe just sort of naturally predisposed to some of that? Does some of that come from knowing how to prepare himself, take care of his body, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, he definitely knows how to take care of himself. I mean, he's, he's um, I know, through high school, you know, um, I mean, I trust me, I've been wearing Divine for a long time. I mean, he's, he's been known, you know, back home for his work ethic and just, you know, how he took care of his body and how he strength trained and how he conditioned and things like that. You know, he's somebody who was in the training room a lot as far as doing prehab and staying on top of any issues. You know, and again, knock on wood, you know, here we come to the conclusion of his third year, the guy hasn't missed a practice. You know what I mean? He, so he understands the value of being there, being available. You know, so, um, you know, he's reaping some of the benefits of that. You talk about, I mean, you guys recruited him for a really long time, and mm -hmm. I can even remember him camping here like as a sophomore. Yep. I mean, is it almost a relationship that, I don't want to say it didn't need to develop, but that by the time it got sort of the serious part of his recruitment, that was already kind of ingrained? Yeah. Like, like I said, I've, I've known I've known of Divine and Divine for a long time. <laughs> you know, so, um, um, so, you know, I think it was just, um, it was just, you know, um, a formality, you know, and kind of just going through the recruiting process. I mean, obviously, you know, you know, options and different things like that, and you got to go through the formal recruiting process. But, you know, I felt strongly and his family felt strongly that this would be the best place for him. What um, I, he's talked even since last year about being a leader for that group, but mm -hmm. obviously he's, he is one of the older guys now. Yeah. I mean, how has he grown, I guess, in that area? Well, I mean, you know, he's become more vocal. You know, I mean, he was a guy who, who led by example. You know, right after Tevin left him with Jordan here, he was, he, you know, he was a tone setter as far as I would tell Jordan, hey, you know, this is how we work. Because you know, Jordan had just came in and, and Jordan was, you know, increasing his work ethic under our standard. You know, so um, coming into this season, Devon was, was more vocal, you know, you know, in a very positive way. He's a he's great um, guy to have in the room as far as how he deals with guys, non-confrontational, but however, he'll, he'll call stuff out as he see it. You know, and the guys know they can trust on him because he's delivering on the field and off the field.